All right, ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we are opening up a topic of conversation um, regarding angle relationships within circle. So the goal of this entire section of these next handful of videos that are going to be coming our way is that you're going to be able to find angle and arc measures and be able to use circumscribes angles in a bunch of variety of different ways. It's a super broad goal that we're going to have, but we're going to break it down over the next few videos and dive it on into the following success criteria. And for our purposes today, we are going to be solely focusing on the concept of the tangent and intersected chord theorem. Tangent intersected chord theorem. And we're going to be able to use this to find some different angle measures and some arc measures today. So let's dive right in. So we can go ahead and use our tangent intersected chord theorem, as I said, to go ahead and find angle measures and arc measures. Find both angle and arc measures. So what is the following theorem? Well, if you kind of see over here in the diagram, what we have is an intersection between chord BA and a tangent line with a point of tangency at point A. And what ends up happening um, by, by utilizing this theorem here is that when we are dealing with a tangent and a chord intersecting at a point on a circle, the measure of each angle formed is one half the measure of the intercepted arc. Remember, intercepted arc means that is going to be the two points of the arc or the endpoints of the chord. So what we're saying here is that angle two, angle two is half of the measure of arc BCA. And angle one is half of the measure of the arc BA. Okay, so here is our angle that is created by the chord and the tangent. And the angles created are half of their intercepted arcs. So let's take a look at a couple examples here. Kind of just so some basic mathematics of how this can kind of be used. Uh, used, uh, I guess, uh, in some different variations in some different ways. So let's take a look at the first one. So in this example here, line M is tangent to the circle, and segment AB is our chord. Obviously, their intersection is creating angle 1 right in here. Well, we know that the measure of angle 1 should be half of the measure of arc AB. So measure of angle 1 is going to end up equaling half of 130 degrees, well, half of 130 degrees is going to end up giving us 65 degrees for our measure of angle 1. Well, let's try this one on over here. If I want to find the measure of angle, or in this case, it wants the measure of the red arc, but it wants the measure of the red arc, LJK, well, the measure of LJK, this major arc right in here, is two times the amount of the measure of angle L. Well, the measure of the arc would then be 2 times 125 for, of course, 250 degrees. So what if we went ahead and kind of use some of these examples and kind of just take it into a different context as well, too? What if we went ahead and, and we said here, what if I went ahead and called angle 1 we went ahead and just called angle one, oh, I don't know, 5x plus 5, 5x plus 5. And now we want to use the same kind of concept here. Well, again, remember, the measure of angle one is equal to the measure, of, or half the measure, excuse me, let me back that up, half the measure of arc AB. Okay, well, same concept here, just substitute what we know, half of 130, and 5x plus 5 equals 65, and 5x equals 60, and then of course x would equal 12 in this particular example. Maybe they would say, hey, substitute it back in to find the measure of angle 1. It just depends on what the scenario actually is. 